You cannot connect the dots which just ended in Crimea. You cannot connect the dots between 1917 and 2014. <laughs> the dots between 1917 and 2014 would just happened in Crimea. You cannot connect those dots without spiritual insight. Musa alayhi salam is wrong on all three occasions. And Khidr alayhi salam, who is blessed by Allah with knowledge that is inter internally received, and who is not arrogant, every single particle of the being speaks of kindness and rahmah. You cannot be arrogant and also be kind at the same time. No. He is right, and this one is wrong. Before I send you packing, let me explain to you what you could not interpret. This was not explanations. These were not events which had to be Explain. There's a difference between tafsir and ta'wil. Tafsir is explanation. Ta'wil is interpretation. And for interpretation you need insight. And on all three occasions Allah says, True Khidr alayhi salam, that these are events which had to be subjected to ta'wil interpretation that is also Akhir Zaman why is it that after thousands of years that mankind have been using gold and silver as money dinar and dirham that suddenly Dinar and dirham are taken away from the market. Why is it that an international monetary fund is created and the articles of agreement of the international monetary fund prohibit the use of gold and silver as money? Why can't Muslims recover dinar and dirham? I have been lecturing on this subject in Malaysia for 20 years now. I've been lecturing to PASS for 20 years now. PASS never listened to me. Until Dr. Mahathir, who is not a scholar of Islam. He is a secular nationalist, secular nationalist leader. The man never pretended to be a ustad or a sheikh. No. When he stood up for dinar, now Pass is minting dinar. But Imran Hussein has been talking to you for 20 years now. You wouldn't listen to me. <coughs> Let me explain to you those things you could not understand. The boat has to be interpreted. That wheel. It belongs to poor fishermen. And there is a government coming to seize your property. The king. It happens every day. Eh? Oh yes. Seize your property. Long ago it is, they used to seize your horses. <laughs> From the time war breaks out. Hmm? <laughs> Tomorrow they seize your bank accounts. I scuttle the boat so that when they come to seize the boats, they will not take this boat. And when they have gone, the boatmen can repair the boat. What you considered to be wrong and evil was in fact something good and just. What a monstrous mistake of judgment. That's the mistake you make. If you follow Dajjal and you see with only one eye and you're internally blind, 
That's the price you will pay with your intellectual and spiritual arrogance as the elite of mankind looking down upon all the rest of the Muslims when you cannot even perform wudu. And then he went on to speak about the boy and about the wall. I don't have to go on to those. You can read the book. And after that, Musa al-Islam was sent packing. Nabi Muhammad al-Islam commented and said, I wish Musa al-Islam had shown more patience. We would have learned some more from Khidr al-Islam. This is Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, the most learned of all men. And this is the man he's saying, I wish Musa alayhi salam had shown more patience. We would have learned some more. What humility. What humility there is in Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasalam. I wish I had the time to take you to the traps that Dajjal has put in the political system. I told Ikhwan al Muslimun, you cannot take the Islamic movement and register it as a political party and then fight election that. Circus call elections. It, it, it's rarely a circus in the United States. Huh? And then, hopefully, that you would win the elections and use the Jal's system to bring Islam. You're living in dreamland. Is this the Sunnah of Muhammad to Islam? They wouldn't listen to me. I can talk for the next 20 years, they will not listen to me because their views are stuck in concrete. But maybe if Dr. Mahathir were to get up tomorrow and explain Islamic political theory, they might wake up. I wish I had the time to explain to you how the political system came from Dajjal. I've done it several times in the past, so you probably are aware of it. That Allah is Al-Malik. Sovereignty belongs to Allah. And Dajjal brings a political system where it says, Sovereignty no longer belongs to Allah. Sovereignty now belongs to the state. That is shirk. That is shirk. And when we go and register as a political party under their constitution, <laughs> We also join in the shirk. You don't believe me? Then wait on Judgment Day. Wait on Judgment Day if you don't believe me. I wish I had the time to take you to Dajjal at work in the banking system. We have something bogus and fraudulent called Islamic banks. When last have you heard any of these Islamic movements declare the Islamic banking system is bogus and fraudulent? Do they ever say that? No. The Jal is the one who took gold and silver out of the market, prohibited the use of gold and silver as money, replaced it with bogus and fraudulent paper money. If I had not studied international monetary economics, they might have been challenging me. To this day, no one has stood up to challenge me. No one dares to challenge me because I know my stomach. So they are silent now. Dajjal is the one who has done it. Have you ever heard any of these so-called Islamic movements ever declare that the paper money is haram? <laughs> I met with the head of one of them in Pakistan, Jamaat Islami. And who knows, he might be listening to this lecture in a day or two from now on YouTube. I spoke with him for about one hour. And at the end of one hour, having explained to him that the paper money was bogus and fraudulent and haram, the man got up with indignation and he said, Ye to dhoka hai. 
This is bogus. Doka, bogus. He was convinced that the money was bogus, the Pakistani rupee. I then asked him, is it haram? He said, oh, no, 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 I can't say that. I can't say that. Only Mufti can say that. So you're Islamic movement, eh? And you're waiting for Mufti. Well, you could wait for another 50 years <laughs> for Mufti to say that the paper money is bogus and fraudulent. And, that. and you say you are the Islamic movement. You say you are the elite. You say you are superior to the rest. And you look down upon the others when you cannot declare and recognize the paper money to be haram. Mm -hmm. It is enough for me. I have provided adequate evidence to give the mother of all warnings to all those within the world of Islam who are following in the footsteps of the Jews who came before them, holding the view that they are the chosen of Allah. That they are on the right path. <coughs> that all others are inferior to them. And they're looking down upon all others. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might open the eyes of those whose eyes can be opened. Forgive them the sins that they have committed. And open their hearts that Allah's nur might enter their hearts. And they may be, may be able to see what otherwise they cannot see. And then become a people of kindness rather than arrogance. So that we may be able to escape from the predicament in which we are today. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka anta samiul alim. Wa tub alayna ya mulana inna ka anta tawab rahim. Barahmatika ya ahmar rahmin. Ameen.